Well data is important as it's often the most direct measurement of the subsurface available. InSight allows velocity data acquired from wells to be interpolated along structure between wells to create an estimate of velocity for an entire volume. Import check shots are use the well synthetics module to generate time depth tables for each well to be used. Step 1 is to create a window model that defines the guiding layers. Models can be 2 way time or TBDSS as required. I'm going to create two models to compare the difference. By leaving the first model as default, I'm defining a horizontal interpolation between the wells. For the second model, I will specify some key velocity boundary horizons to guide the interpolation. Turning on the layer conformability, I can choose how the interpolation is guided. I will leave the upper section as proportional and the lower to confirm the base of the unit. Once the window model is created, open the process tab and create a new velocity model from well check shots process. The name that you give the process will become the name of the velocity volume you create. Select the constant window model you created previously. The output for this method is a 3D cube using an inline crossline survey grid. In this example, the inline crossline separation is set to 200 meters in the xy axis and 24 milliseconds in the z axis to keep processing time efficient for this large regional model. Select the wells that are available for inclusion. Leave the per layer settings as default for now. Queue see the results in a section view. Let's focus initially on the well model tie. The curve currently displayed is gamma ray, which is why it doesn't appear to tie at all. Change the well curve to check shot for yin to match the volume displayed. The wells look much better, but still don't appear to tie. This inline crossline view does not pass through the wells, and so wells are projected into the section from far away over 750 meters according to the well header. For the best QC display, use an arbitrary line that passes directly through the well location. That looks good. The velocity layering looks a bit flat. This is due to the constant window model being used. Wells are interpolated horizontally rather than following structure. Changing the model to the one including the horizon data shows a much more geological result. Insight's real-time processing makes this type of experimentation fast and easy to do. If some layers are lacking in well data due to varying well length, the layer velocity can be overwritten with a constant. For example, 1,500 meters per second water velocity or an average of the wells within the layer. The resulting model should look more geological and ideally provide more accurate time depth conversion. If you have questions or would like to discover more, then visit our website at www.dog.com and remember, have fun with insight!